So, how y'all doing? It's Luke Munger. Been carrying this one around the last little bit, and the, the current angle on it had just been bothering me. It uh, didn't change too much, but there was just a little bit of a flare up at the tip. And so I reprofiled it, right? And you can see when I did what happened here. I took it back, it's reprofiled the whole edge to 25 degrees, and then there's a 35 degree micro bevel. And it just gave it kind of a horrendous look. Um, you can see, I mean, all the way back, the silver, you know, that silver on black, this the contrast with the actual cutting edge all the way back on this side. And then it was, wasn't was quite even on either side. The uh, actual cutting edge looks pretty good. And so I gun blued it. And I think it actually gives a little bit of just a much better aesthetic view. It's not nearly as obvious what's been done to it. It's still got a good cutting edge. I also put a choil on it. Cut a little bit of a choil in there, just a sharpening choil, leaving out the blade a little bit. I did skip off, and that was me. That's where the thing hit a little bit there, but a little bit of a sharpening choil. I think it looks really good. The 1095 Crovan takes an excellent gun blue. I put a mirror polish on it before I actually blew it. You can see the change in grind there. A little bit of a mistake. Actually, I did that on both sides. I was sitting on uh, the wrong angle for a while on both sides before I realized what I was doing. But it's a K-Bar short. I'm definitely a fan of this thing. It's just a little tiny Bowie knife. It doesn't come with a horrible edge out of the box, but touched it up, you know, just with a little bit of a reprofiling. It, I mean, makes this thing excellent little, excellent performer. That 1095 Crovan takes a wonderful edge. I really do like this knife. And for as cheap as it is, I... Yeah, I don't think this thing get, deserves the reputation that it gets. It's a K-Bar short. Lugamanga. Y'all have a good one.